real. So this is uh, 3DO games yet again. You know, it's a little stretched for some reason. Uh, reserve aspect ratio. Why this thing is all screwy. Just give me one second here, chat. Set it to 4.3. It's 4.3. I'm looking at 4.3, but XSplit is making it widescreen. Which is a new thing. Very, very weird. Okay. Maybe it'll figure itself out. Let me play a game. But before I do that, let me tell you. So the first pack was made by Raw Kong which I enjoyed. It had some really bad games in there, some decent ones, too. And um, I had a second pack, and I've, I was really interested in seeing what else the 3DO had to offer. Tempo made this pack. And let's see. Let's see what it is. I, I really don't even know. Autobahn Tokyo is the first one. But let me load this thing up. In your 3DO, here it is. Okay, let's hope it doesn't scale it. Yep, it's all scaled and weird. Okay. Okay. Autobahn Tokyo! Oh, okay. Okay. Hang on. Hang on a second. Wow, these graphics are amazing. I think this is as good as we're going to do without stretching it. It looks about... Almost, well, it's definitely resizing them kind of weird. Observe aspect ratio. Yeah, this, this is, uh... Don't mind that up top there. That's you didn't see that. You didn't see any of that stuff. I have a 3DO. All right, now we're good. We got pixel perfect, kind of. Alto. Alto. So um, this is made by Terry Bogard. So I'm going in blind. I don't actually know. I don't have any history on any of these games, but we do get a JPEG of each track. So that counts for something. For those that don't know, 3DO is an early 3D console by Panasonic. It is uh, unfortunate. Kind of flopped pretty hard, but it had a couple cool games on it. Some people liked it. Um, last time I did a 3DO segment, it was mostly shit. For reasons like this. Oh man, look at that sense of speed. Yeah, eight frames a second at most. Excellent. Yeah, this isn't good. This is not a good example of what the system was capable of. It could definitely do more than this. 
this is not that. It's just horribly unoptimized. But, um, yeah, oh, 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 it almost feels like racing for a second. This might have worse frame rates than Star Fox on the SNES, the original Star Fox with the Super NES FX chip. The Super FX chip. This is, this is, this is tough. It, I like how I can see through the walls, too. That's an interesting feature. You know what, though? This would look good in still screenshot form. I bet this game was, like, fucking killer in magazines. And people would look at this and be like, Wow, 3DO is so powerful! Man, Electronic Gaming Monthly gave this game a, a, a 1 out of 10? Wait a minute. But the screenshots look so good! I don't know why I'm Captain Falcon and Sonic mixed together when I'm reading my gaming magazine. Oh, we'll get there. I'm gonna do one full completion, chat. We're gonna do this. If I complete this before vomiting, that means I will have succeeded. That's my only goal. Oh man, oh god, those frames get real shitty right around there. I was gonna say, do you even get better frames for going in first person? No. Those resources are not saved. This came out the same year as Daytona USA on Saturn. How embarrassing. When a car goes off screen, your frame rates double to 15. Oh my god. Oh, there's another lap. Oh, I thought we were done. Oh no, we can't do any more of this. I'm sorry, I can't play any more of this game. I can't, I cannot continue playing that game. <clears throat> Vinny, what games do you play the most when you're not streaming? Well, that's a weird thing to read and even weirder for me to answer on a Sunday. Usually during the week I answer questions like that, but lately, um, Slay the Spire, uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses, I haven't played in a week, but that, Dragon Quest XI. Uh, RimWorld I haven't played off stream. Not yet. Anyway, that was Autobahn Tokyo. This is Dr. Hauser. English custom music. Vinny, it wasn't as crust in this video. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Looks a little less crust. Definitely got better frame rates. Maybe something's wrong with the settings. I don't know. Let me check the settings here, and uh, clock speed. I could bump it up. It's at 100% clock speed, but I could bump this thing up to like, you know, depending on the next game, I'm going to keep it at 100. If I need to, I'll bump it up to like 400. We can overclock the, the 3DO. Newspaper. Opening. Start. Okay, we'll just do start. It looks like I'll never find out what this game is about.
Okay, place your bets. Is this gonna be like mist? Is it gonna be like mist? Is it gonna be something stupider? Resident Evil? No. Loading! Oh. Oh my god. Professor, are you home? I can't tell if this is supposed to be normal frame rates for this. No one seems to be around. Gonna have to overclock this fucking thing, if anything. Yeah, we gotta overclock. Something... Something seems wrong. That's better. So I guess that racing game would have been still shit, but at least silkier shit. Don't understand what... Oh, that's a jump? <sighs> oh no. Wow, what a jump. It's like realistic human jumping. This seems important. Like, there would be an item down here? I should just leave this alone. Okay, never mind. Whoa! Let's see if we can jump over this low coffee table. Nope. This game has its place in history. It's technically the first example of a survival horror game. Considered to, um, to be released on Western shores. Inspired in part by NES game called Sweet Home, both are considered the grandfathers of modern-day survival horror. Interesting. I just realized that my dude looks like Miles O'Brien from Star Trek, from certain angles. What's that, sir? You need me to beam down into the spooky house, sir? Yes, O'Brien. We cannot afford to send one of the senior officers down to the planet. Ah, uh, yes, of course, sir. Will it involve me being dead at the end of it, sir? Possibly. No choice, sir? No, 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 no. You may be tortured for up to 300 years, O'Brien, and each year will go by, feeling like 10 years. All right, sir. Game over. What's operation? Oh. Weird. Nothing, 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 nothing. Vinny, this game was at G, uh, GDQ and the frame rate it was running at earlier was seriously that awful. That's how it really ran on 3DO. Are you kidding me? Chat. No. You can actually get killed by the chandelier in the first room. Let's do it. <laughs> oh my god, imagine that shit! Listen, historically significant is no excuse for a game that runs like shit and plays like shit 
and you die in the first two seconds. Last time you did 3DO Desert said that the frame rates were accurate. So what I'm doing now by overclocking this is actually making the game semi-playable. And it's not supposed to be. I love the idea that if you go into the wrong door, you just instantly fucking perish. The steps are rotting. I can't climb like this. Okay, chat, I need your help. Which door did I go in last time? Was it this one? No use, it's locked. I have to find the key. Do I not have the key? He doesn't work here. An another giant hole in the floor. Excellent. So when you hold the R button, you can just kind of pivot your body a little bit. So it says that this is hold R to look. You get a top down as well. God, could you imagine this without the overclock? Dear Lord. Oh, first person as well. Huh. Oh, it, okay. It works if you're in first person. Otherwise, I was going to say, what is the use of this? I mean... From a historical perspective, I think it's cool that this exists, and, you know, that makes me less inclined to shit on it, knowing how early of a game it was. Um... Um... But I'm gonna shit on it anyway. Are you kidding me? Vinny, it feels like you have some kind of image filter enabled. I had scale mode activated. So these are the original pixels right here. Uh, let me check and see if I have any other filters on. Preserve aspect ratio. No, that's it. That, that's pretty much it. It seemed... Yeah, I, I guess that's kind of more or less what the 3DO hardware looked like, I, I think. 
I think I want to move on to the next game, too. It just seems like trial and error, like... I'll try one more time. You just do the wrong thing, you die. You look the wrong way, you die. Go in the wrong door, you die. You have to memorize every single door and which one kills you. That's the death room. Um, of course, then there's rotten stairs, so you can't go anywhere near those. Though it does have some of the early conventions of Resident Evil and Silent Hill and all that, you get to examine the key. It's like very, um, early Resident Evil. Just way worse. I guess you can save before everything. No, you can't. Never mind. <laughs> Poor Panasonic was doomed before it even fucking started. At least the Philips CDI had, like, bootleg Zelda. Chair, please, get the fuck out of my way, chair, please! A sound from the painting. Oh, fuck, crazy. So there's a diary that you can examine and look for clues. Yeah, fast! Yeah, fast except when real slow! Here's a switch. Press it. Instant death switch. Oh, progress is being made. This will most likely be my death. Alright, cool. Three D O. Oh. I knew what I was doing, and it's fine because I specifically want to move on to the next game, but again, uh really bad game, but still historically interesting. This one's called Jammit with an exclamation mark, so it's extra cool. Damn it. Oh, it's basketball. Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> Chill. Roxy. Come on. Slade. Yo. Come on. Yo, mama said knock you out. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh. Big deal. Money. <laughs> It, it's epic basketball. Why is it like post apocalyptic? On, oh no, Slade. Yeah, so Slade 2.
<laughs> Vinny, it's just Detroit. Okay. Yeah, Slade, two pointer. Hilarious to me. Big deal. Rightfully mine. Big deal. This drum beat sounds like fucking in the bushes by Oasis. Yeah, you're not so tough. Robbed you. Big deal. It's the worst, yeah, the worst so basketball tough. ever. Yeah, you're not so tough. Dunk, asshole. Remember, these are street rules, so you can just push and punch. Do music. This is this is outstanding. You sure? L letter you sure? Chat, it wouldn't... I don't know why, but it's not letting me select other things. I want to I wanna do... I don't want to do one-on-one. -on -one. I want to do the next thing. I guess I have to do one thing at a time. Yeah, you're not so tough. Yeah, who's not so tough? Shut up! Yeah, you're not so tough. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Vinny, other s oh, oh, I think I'm still overclocked. And yeah, I, pr I pressed the select button. That didn't work either. Let's see what this looks like at 100% CPU. The normal... CPU. And it's, you know, still pretty fast. It's about the same thing. You can't pick those other events. You have to play them in order. Okay, confirmed. Good shot. God damn. Rightfully mine. I'm telling you, these drums are oasis fucking in the bushes. Oh, I say bushes and not bushes, but. All right, anyway. My technique is impeccable. My defense impregnable. My shots glorious.
about that 3DO. Let's continue. Um, I mean, these are examples of, of bad games, so I'm not exactly expecting gold. But uh, Johnny Bazooka Tone? Johnny Bazooka Tone. Okay, I have no idea what kind of game this could be. What? A music bazooka? A guitar bazooka? Okay. Guitars aren't supposed to move like that. Like, the strings don't work if they... Don't worry about it. It's fine. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what this game is, still. Definitely rad. Look at all these effects. So many effects, you can't even see what's happening. Let's just, yeah, cut frames and make the opacity 100% every now and then for some reason. It's, uh, chat, I'm skipping. It's a long ass intro. Wow. So you wait, 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 you play the bazooka guitar and then you you fly. Or you shoot. It's a side-scroller. Huh. Did they try to do an Earthworm Jim thing? Before Banjo-Kazooie was collecting musical notes. Bazooka John Jim <laughs> was doing exactly that. What are you doing to that guitar? It sounds like a shitty talk box. Oh, this is pretty rough, too. Lots of, um, cheap hits. Also, it takes a second for you to use the second attack. It doesn't really work right away. Nice bullshit that was.
Yep, rose from the ground and and killed me. Game over. This is some rough gameplay. Yeah, it feels like... Oh, I guess you gave up. I, I'm pretty sure I went go home. Oh, that was give up. I, I don't think I need to... Uh, we've seen enough here. It's They spent the budget everywhere other than gameplay. So, very interesting, but I'd never played Jim John Bazooka Man Gone ever again, I don't think. Off-World Interceptor. Crystal Dynamics, no shit. This one immediately goes back to the, uh, opening. Having some issues with the, uh... If we die, I want you guys to know, I love you all, man. And if we live through this mission, I'm gonna kill you all with you first, Fabio. Fabio? Come on. Nice hands. Once again, I skipped it, I think, by accident. Hang on, I need to reset that. Sorry. Sorry, mistakes are made. I need to reset. I need to see these cutscenes because, first of all, that was a fake Mystery Science Theater 3000, which was cool. And and second, that motherfucking set looked really cool. It looked like an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation where they go down to, like, a shitty planet that wars with each other. And they have to make a point about how humans don't do war anymore. Is that Jamie Lannister? What, does he think he's a crow? I wish he was the crow, then he'd be dead already. Look who's here. Oh my god. There's so many layers to this. Trash, man. We prefer sanitary Blood engineers. Trash. Or that. Ooh. You've obviously read our resumes. Well, boy's gonna learn. You don't win battles with biceps, and what you about can't fancy spend footwork? a bounty from a body bag. Stat. But in its infinite bleeding heart wisdom, the Geo Tribunal passes the bounty bill, and civilians get to fulfill their death wish. Here's to death Peter. wish in all of Bronson's film. You will be shown <laughs> the whereabouts and profile of the bounty Those of you who choose to go after him will be issued chips. Sun chips? To buy radio equipped vehicles. What is going on? Other accessories are available. And you'll need them. Whoa, You will then up. be transported in under the target shield system. Yeah, we wouldn't have it any other way. And placed at the bay point. As if it matters. Reach them safely. We will download the next directional vector. I spell it that Yo, what the fuck? The miracle you intercept the criminal, the appropriate bounty will be deposited in your account. Uh, can I have it in a gift certificate? Eyes up. Uh, you know, I just had a checkup, and I have 2020, so I don't think that this is. Step uh, forward. There better be naked ladies in this thing. Ah! This is a digital rendering uh. based upon sex scan blowups of feral lupus. <laughs> That's Black easy for you to say. Was hey, wasn't lupus seven. the little or booger eater in Bad News Bears? No, it's a Corey Haim movie. We try to save them for amateurs. But lupus won't be your only problem. I don't know. A friend of mine had lupus and it was a big problem. Large. Like you, these cash cops are in it just for the money. Only they have no regard for humans, especially trash men. Avoid them at all costs. I wish I could get my hand off my chin. They beat you to I'm never point? going to that glue planet statistic. again. <laughs> <laughs> They're making fun of their own game. Has ever survived a mission. Ooh, so consider yourselves warned. And consider yourself, Do yourself a part of the family. family. 
go home. So this grasshopper walks into a bar. Yeah? And the bartender says, we've got a drink named after you. And the grasshopper says, you've got a drink named Steve? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's that funny. It's your funeral. Is there a cover charge for my funeral? Uh, my brain hurts. Casket? I'm going to trade this finger in for a gun. Keep your eyes to yourself. What about my hands? I was just looking at your pooper. Or you will lose. <laughs> Gotta go now, apparently. Oh my god! I can't believe this game! Wow! Wow, this game is garbage! <laughs> okay, well, there's so much to unpack. Okay, so you get. They built a full set. They hired a bunch of actors. Then they they filmed this whole big thing about trash men. And then they fucking probably watched it and were like, this is this is terrible. We we can't is this are we gonna release this game? And then someone was like, What if? Hear me out, we parodied Mystery Science Theater. But that way, if we make fun of our own game, it's ironic. And it's fun again. And people think we're so cool. Oh, by the way, say that he was looking at her pooper. Clones? What what kind of game is this even gonna fucking be? Oh. Oh my, I, I'm shocked. And also, you know, obviously Mystery Science Theater was probably just getting big at the time. So they're just like cashing in on that trend. But it was like mystery science shitter. Like it wasn't even good mystery science theater. Uh, this is too fucking chaotic and too fast. Uh, is there a way to like... No, it's not. It, this one's not awful. And it's got frame rates. So, give it that. It's just everything is so claustrophobic. Like, the camera, every. Like, you just end up running into. I, I ran out of gas. Waypoint reached. But, yeah, the, uh, the storyline surely is quite interesting. Compared to whatever the fuck it is I'm doing right now. Again, it looks- it looks decent. People in chat that are saying this game looks good. It's not bad. I mean, this is definitely not that bad. But... I have to ask myself the question, would I play this now? No. Would I have played it with a 3DO? Uh, for a little while at least, but it's, it's, again, it's so fucking chaotic and the camera's so zoomed in, I, I can't, re I can't even really focus on one thing at a time. But yeah, you only progress forward, you don't, it looks like you don't ever, um, you, you can't go backwards or explore. Then you need to fix the game's crop. Honestly, you're not even missing that much. You're missing a health bar. But yeah, the variable resolution on, on all these menus and everything is, is screwing with the crop, the croppage. Yeah, there's a better version of the crop. Let's see. Yeah, that's, that's what, yeah, that's what you were missing. Um, I kind of want to know if there's more cutscenes in this game. Yeah, we're just looking at your pooper, eh? Oh boy, there, that's a nice pooper you got there, they hell. Oh. oh, we went to the glue planet there, and we we got stuck on the glue, and we got the glue on our chin. Though to be fair, I can't come up with much better commentary than that. 
And the, but that was scripted. I, maybe. God, what if it wasn't? Oh, man. Oh, no. Got an existential crisis, kind of. And are we out of gas again? My brain is not able to process this anymore. Yeah, my brain cannot handle this. Okay, there we got the uh, in the pooper there. Okay, off, off world interceptor. Cut scenes. Full motion video sequences, part one. Avoid them at all costs. Couldn't have said it better myself. I could have. Raid, you all of colonized space. It's close. Are you starting to care? Hey, uh, she mercenary on a major. Minor. Can you Hang on a second. I know you can't again, see. I know you can't see. Come on down. I'm trying to f find ah! out. Ah! Mm, pretty. Greg Rusha. Piercing. A small time mercenary who has apparently found a big. Is there a cover charge for my funeral? Um, I was just looking at your pooper. Or you will lose them. There we go. Yeah, there's. it's just more bad acting. No, we're number four. I'd say congratulations, except you're back for more. You already did, Colonel Fancy. Very well. It appears Lupus What's was... The there's a Sega Saturn version of this, too, by the way. Point, ...who's a peripheral suspect in a Priority 3 investigation. Okay, I'll have the Lupus, the peripheral, and the soup du jour. some loose ends. Major. Minor. <laughs> Could you drop that thing down again, please? Come on down! Ah! I just am so baffled by this. Greg Rusha. Piercing. A small-time mercenary who has apparently found a big war. Otherwise, she would not need military-grade weapons from Lupus. <laughs> Be Von Tur and her data bank. I want you and your and attitude. What is this accent? To get terminated in the process? What? 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 Face. Finish your sentence, you wiener. I was watching via satellite. Did you tape me? I caught some of your antics. Yeah, what about my shenanigans? You take oh a lot God. of chances, Trashman. It's sanitary engineer. Don't take too many. Are you starting to care? Hey, uh, she digs us. Yeah, we're gonna get some. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Colonel, great nineties. That busload of tourists. And he does. Uh, we're back. That's his. Breath. Hello. But it makes him realize. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get some. <laughs> hey, but hey, Beavis. I think he likes us. Hey, Beavis, do you wanna watch this uh, chick? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My agents would never be so aggressive. Yeah, look at her pooper dresses. Major. And they write romance novels. It's over on Colonel. Fancy. <laughs> if I have to look at this thing one more time, I'm gonna Ah! Beep Sanguini. Then we won't have to look at him again. Vinny, do you realize you're riffing over riffing? I I know. Uh, we're Yo. back. Yo. Hang on a minute. Before we do anything, there's a um part two to this. It seems like there's a total of like 20, uh, 15 ish minutes of, of video for this game. Uh, I'm right here. He knows the risks. Hey, Colonel Fancy. If he's willing to trade his life for Hello. Kleegs. I'm sure Hello. you are, sir. We do what Hi, we quick must, to notice. Major. Hello, yeah, it's Colonel Fancy. Yeah, Colonel Fancy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> boobs. He said boobs. But that driving lesson you just gave Falco came too late. He'd already delivered half the droxen to a madman. A madman? A madman? I feel like Rem Lazar would be good in this Come game. Ah! Dr. Hans Klee. After spotting our surveillance... Oh, I thought he said Klee. He doesn't look like so much of a madman. He contaminated his own planet like merely to display his power. We can't let him contaminate any others. 
someone must go to Morpheus Moors. Since chat is riffing on your riffing of their riffing, that's like three layers deep. Oh fuck. This is clean. Exactly. And who knows what the ecosystem is like there now? I hear it's not bad this time of year. It must be one man. Cleek spots us again. There's no telling where he'll unleash the rest of the poison. Reinforcements. Oh, I just unleashed the poison. And a fart joke. Will it come to this? Stop this lunatic. What lunatic? That's an order. Sir, you cannot Good order your Stop that crazy bastard. Look at him. He's nuts. Hello, loony. <laughs> Inga. Hey, Helga. Any last words before we finish the game and move on with our lives? Goodbye. All right. No kiss or anything? Who needs you? Oh my god. I'm just gonna skip to the end. Oh, that that pretty much almost is the end. It doesn't make it any less regrettable. Let's see. Hello, nice. What are you looking at? Everyone's all happy that we're back. I think they all like us. You did. Bootleg uniforms. Stevens put on a special outfit for us. The Droxen is in safe hands. Kleeg is history. The Droxen. And the cash cops. This is for the Droxen. But we won't see them for a while. Why are you guys All standing right. around? The tribunal is issuing this unit a special commendation. What unit? My offered unit? you a full commission. Oh, a commission? Well what the hell is a commission? A bunch of morons standing around clapping? Yippee. <laughs> You'll wear oh this to the ceremony. Uh, no, I won't. <laughs> hey, Beaver, yeah. suck my unit. Only if it comes with a hat. Yeah, your yeah, butthead. Yeah, yeah, my my Where's unit's my massive, butthead. <laughs> yeah, Helga. <laughs> Look, Hunter. He has us mixed up with that dumb TV we show. We both know this is a dirty business. I like a nice dirty business from time. And to if time. our tactics sometimes reflect that, <laughs> it's only because of what's at stake. I like steak. It doesn't make it any less regrettable. What are you saying? Nice one, Dick. He dropped it on the ground. <laughs> You'll be shortly, but I must go now. The first secretary wants a word before the proceedings. Something about my budget. Oh, oh God. From Colonel Fancy to General Wussy. Impressive. Congratulations. There Clint. she is. Hello, baby. Oh, God. Nice ropes. <laughs> oh, God, no. You still take too many chances. So I guess you're saying you want me to wear a condom. What? Well, the limo is waiting. Jay Leno's waiting? I hate What? Him. I don't know who you're talking about. You drive? This is a game about I driving. I needing this. Nice catch. <gasps> On second thought, perhaps we should take your car. Woo! Cold hands! Oh, Whoa, okay. Don't twist that so hard. That hurts. Oh my god, every early 90s cliche all together all in one game. Holy fuck. What's going on here? This is the development team, everybody. Speaking of 90s, I'm pretty sure this dude was in Mother Love Bone. It's a band. This is uh, just playing on train tracks. Hi, I mean, my name is Johnny Coxville, and welcome to Jackass. Regrettably, the team couldn't make another game because they all died on the train tracks. This is a freak accident. No one saw it coming. Dave Pounders. I'm surprised they didn't make a joke about his name. Cool picture. Yeah, I mean, wow. All I can say is wow. That is a relic. I am so confused and also just intrigued by what we just watched. It looks like a cult. Yeah, I don't know why they have like cult markings and makeup. Belongs in a museum. 
That was fascinating. For anyone wondering, the name of that game, once again, is Who Gives a Shit? No, the name of that game was Off-World Interceptor. If you want to do some extended research on it. Phoenix 3? Gray matter. Something none of us will have after this stream. Is that a real person? Yeah. Huh? We are the ground. Hyperion. <laughs> all below is ours. All within is ours. Surrender your weapons at once. Resist and you will perish. <laughs> That's an orc. Oh, fuck off. You can fuck right off. We are the Grill, and we are the Shockmasters. Oh man, what what is this clusterfuck now? Work, work. Ready to work. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on here? Send another message. <laughs> you can cast many stones, Councillor Rand, but if the well has won dry, so has your wish. If you don't have a decent set, will attack if we don't surrender. just drape oh, it all in black curtains fire. and turn the lights down. Sorry, Derek. None of this must make any sense to you. Damn right. Do the grill one with us? We destroyed our weapons over a thousand years ago. I implore ago. you, Counselor, you cannot forsake our oath. A squadron of starfighters lies hidden in the catacombs deep under the old ruins. They can be deployed at a moment's notice. Counselor, I forbid you to reveal the ancient knowledge. Why are you just still keep looking at the camera? Man. Get off my back, old man. Five talons are activators needed to arm Hyperion. A weapon our ancestors Look created. Better than Star Trek Picard, at least. I demand possession of the talons. <laughs> the talons are I a child's fable, a legend. Of the shack master. No. Let this serve as a warning. Leave them alone! What are they doing? They're just jostling they those poor men. We've got to do something. Remember where you are. Show some self-control. I share your frustration, Derek. That's why I asked you here. If the Growl won a war, then I'll give them one. And just how do you expect to do that? Uh. I've been flying the old F-65. <laughs> what? Was that words? You're a complete fool, Freeman, if you think that qualifies you to pilot a starfighter. I'll manage. If you can recover the talents, then maybe we can send the growl back to the cesspool they crawled out of. You're making a great mistake, Freeman. You'll never does, find them alone. Does he sleep maybe with not. her by the end Even of the game? Don't come back, old considering what year this game was made, coward. and considering the previous game? Here to give me my last rites, old man. Try not to judge me too harshly, Derek. Save me the holy of the thou crap. You don't think I'll come back? Larry Before David you know, and Jeff Garland, the early years. It will help you find what you seek. And let me guess. This way, if I don't make it, and at least the truth about Hyperion will remain buried. We must go now. We need strength. We need courage. <laughs> You need music. This. Oh, okay. Gun. Alright. Just walk into the green screen. Just stop before you hit the green screen. Great. Okay. That's oh, one of these games. Oh, no. Oh, no. What a, what a relic, what a gem tonight's stream has been for the 3DO. It's like everything all mixed up, like Nintendo wasn't really doing shit like this, Sega barely, I mean games like this were third party on those systems, but it's just, there's a very specific time in history 
and you don't see them a lot anymore. Not not when you think about like good classic games. You you get to. I heard. The I too heard Sport Three dot sound effect. But yeah, it's just um, fascinating little piece of history. You get full motion, like acting with real actors. You get like pictures of the actors as the main characters. It's just. It's just wonderful. They couldn't have found a better, more, like, scary sound effect. Are, we really just did a fart and splort sound effect? Y no. I cannot believe that they went with the sport sound effect. I, I, I can't believe it! I can't believe it! <sighs> it just doesn't stop! It's like Nickelodeon! We're on double there, we're getting gacked! Oh, uh, the controls are ass. I don't think I needed to say that. Okay, so this is the walk cycle, right? If I hold L1, I get a run cycle, too. Right? Except it's the same as the walk cycle, just faster. So there is no run animation. It's power walking. Sorry, can't shoot while you're jumping. Just have to take the damage. My dude, um, Steven Seagal here is about to die. I, I welcome this death. I'm actually ready to see it. Let's see it. experience this was. Phoenix 3. Gems tonight, folks. Gems. Alright, next is Shadow War of Succession. We're, we're winding down. There's, there's only a couple more. Please comment on the music. I don't even know what to say about the music. It was just weirdly like 90s trash pop industrial. Ah, uh, yes, the Statue of Liberty. Made of boogers, right. Yeah. Yeah, we can do, um, 3D graphics, but we also have to do MIDI. I'm not reading this. Oh no. Oh, it's a fighter. Viper. Is that Viper from Rim World earlier? I'm gonna choose Riggs because this is clearly just one of the developers. Holy fuck.
Oh no, the game isn't working. Someone in chat said that this game does have um, emulation issues. One more time. No, it's not emulated or anything like that. I'm just saying, in general, just a piece of information of which to furnish you with them. Vinny, good speech, thanks. For one more time. This may never work. Maybe I just need to choose a different character, but there's a chance this will never work, so I'll do uh, Erica versus Carlos. Preparing combat zone. Did we get that far last time? My yes. My name is Erica Storm. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Oh my god. Chat, this is not overclocked. You gotta be kidding me. Carlos's special move fucking destroys the camera. This is at 100% speed. Underneath all that garbage, you're just like all the street punks I've wasted before. Oh my god. Boy, it really wants me to fight Carlos. I killed you once, I'll kill you again! FORT! Yeah, I don't think this is how the game is supposed to go. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to- I'm pretty- Oh my god! There's no way! <laughs> Wait a minute, let me see, maybe- Underneath all that garbage, you're just like all the street punks I've wasted before! I'm gonna- I'm gonna underclock this, down to 50%. Oh god, that's amazing. God damn it, stop giving me Carlos. Vinny- if I recall correctly from the YouTube videos I've seen of this, this is indeed how it runs. It was never actually finished, I believe. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. It just doesn't, it does not compute. No dev barely wanted to touch the 3DO, that's why it sucked and didn't do well. I mean, this is not, th th it's not a complete game. It, it doesn't even feel like... Okay, well at least we're not fighting Carlos this time. <laughs> oh 
That's the oof from Roblox, but louder. <laughs> that screen, though. <laughs> But we'll move on to the next one. That was fucking hilarious. Twisted the Game Show is next. That was unbelievable. Vinny high level matches of Shadow War of Succession. All right, before yes. Before we check out this twisted game, I will It says worst game ever, War of Succession um 3DO Carlos versus Anvil. So this is a, a video I would assume this is running on real hardware. No, it, it was running too fast. <laughs> this isn't much better! <laughs> it's not much better! <laughs> They're not hitting each other! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Why can't he fly? Well, you must be quite confused seeing whatever the fuck I'm looking at right now. Uh, so let's let's start over. Oh my god, that was so fucking funny. I don't think he said sans, chat. Maybe he did. Uh, but I don't think it was about the skeleton. The palindrome? Uh. Okay. Um, this looks like the Monty Python stock audience laughing footage. And now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce my exciting... Also, looks like Twin Peaks. Miss Anna Pooh. Let's give her a hand! And Beetlejuice. Let's move on. Why don't 
we find out which of television's tortured talent will be playing this round of Twisted. Thank you, Twink. Contestant number one. What's will his name? The shirt off your back. He's the Clunker King. He's Wormington, and he's Dog Otis. Come on down to Wormington's. We're service. Is a slogan. Uh, his name's Twink, <laughs> not not Twink. Great, just great. And now, contestant number two. When she's not racing camels or trading futures, she enjoys mind reading, channeling, and vodka. She knows what you're thinking, Madame Elaine. One nine hundred Elaine. I can read your mind, and you should be ashamed. <laughs> Fabulous. And now, for our next contestant, Ray. Hey. Abandoned in a theater and raised by ushers, he's a legend in his own mind. Put your hands together for Johnny Powell. Keep cool, Daddy-o. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. And our fourth contestant, Ray. He'll save your soul and steal your wallet. Self-appointed financial <laughs> planner to the Almighty, he's Humble Howard. Oh. Eternal security in the kingdom of Humble Howard. Operators are standing by. This guy reminds me of Burn Gorman's brother. <laughs> Sensational. Tell us a little bit about contestant numero cinco, Ray. It's like Joel Osteen's She's the star of War Crimes Workout. Love. Admiral of Aerobics, Sergeant of Sweat, Feel the Burn. She's Major Steel. Those are just photoshops. Don't get fit if it kills ya. <laughs> <laughs> Splendid. And now, last but not least, who is contestant number six, Ray? Friend of popes and presidents alike, he travels George the world W. Uh, regular George decay. Bush. Short in stature, but long on flavor. He is Uncle Fez. Whoa. If these are chance, what do you say? Aren't they just oh. wonderful? Why, well, well, I'm so confused. Why is it like a... What is it? Why is it, not, why is it a dildo? Why is it a Pez dispenser dildo? Then press the A button. Press the C button after everyone has made a selection. I didn't think this game could have more annoying sound effects than the previous game, but here we are. Jesus, man. Now, Humble Howard, how smart do you think you are? Use the cursor pad to set your trivia. Will the next player please select a contestant? Press C when all players have made their selection. Now, Uncle Fez, how smart do you think you Am I playing as all Will of these the characters? Will the next player please select a contestant? Press C when all players have made their selection. Now, Major Steel, how smart do you think you are? Use the cursor pad to set your... Oh, I see. Will the... Throughout the game, I will refer to you by your contestant's name. The object of Twisted is really quite simple. I screwed up. Roll the cyber die, complete the various challenges, and get to the end first. And what happens then, Ray? Well, Twink, our lucky winner will receive a yeah, one-way trip out of this TV wasteland into whatever the hell's on the other side of the screen. <laughs> Ooh, I hear reality is just beautiful this time of year. <laughs> well, gee, I can't wait to get going. Hannah, are you as excited as I am? Great! Now let's get twisted. Major Steel, <laughs> you're up first. Think fast. You're on the challenge square. Okay. Howard, take the controller and secretly select a row from the matrix. Now, Major Steel, take the controller and select a column. Fire in the hole! Uh. Ciao. Uncle Fez, it's time to roll. Okay. Flex those fingers, you're going to the wheel. I'm so confused. To get off the wheel, press the A button on three of a kind. <laughs> Howard, good luck. Uh, 
Think fast. You're on the challenge square. Am I dying? Uncle Fez, take the controller and secret. Now, Howard, take the controller and select a trivia. Answer oh, all some the questions of us so correctly loud. before time runs out. Sports and recreation. How many Olympic medals, gold medals did diver Greg Luganis win in his career? I don't. I know. I know the name. Um, this is also really outdated. I guess this is before he won two more. Major Steel, <laughs> step right up. You can't stop on an occupied Maybe. space. Roll again. Well done. Keep going. Oh, the Bozo Square. Lose a turn. I am not happy, honey. Hmm? Beat the wheel. To get off the wheel, press the A button on three of a kind. Nope. <laughs> Give it your best. Nope. You've landed on the challenge square. Oh, have I? Major Steel. Now, Howard. Zapper. Use the cursor pad and the A button to zap the commercials and stop the fuse. Visible dog toys. What is it? Absolutely nothing. Just grab a hook. But not included. I mean, I give it credit for being Mario Party before Mario Party, but this is actively hurting my soul. Whoa. Looks like you're not going anywhere. There's like no downtime. It's just fucking sensory over. It's robot and the family in video game form. Like, stop to shouting! The wheel, <laughs> press the A button on three of a kind! Howard, it's time to roll. Bonus square, roll again! You are truly blessed. Well done. Keep going. Think, think, think! The challenge square! Uncle Loud now. noise inbound. One of those is just a bomb. Major Steel, good luck. You're going to the wheel of torture. Of the worst. To get off the wheel, press the A button on three of a kind. It, lo it looks like two of us will be on this forever. Come on, Slugger. Let's get you off that wheel. To get off the wheel, press the A button on three of a kind. <laughs> Why can't I do this? How? <laughs> oh no. That we just gotta get Howard on the wheel. <laughs> Major Steel, take the controller. Get him on the wheel! Now, Howard, take the controller and select a column facelift. Use the cursor pad to assemble three complete faces. Uh, I don't get it. <laughs> Big house! Oh the my god! Torture! Yes, more the torture wheel. wheel. Good. Press the A button on three of a kind. Fuck! Let's get you off that wheel. What do you say? To get off the wheel, press the A button on three of a kind. <laughs> Finally. Oh, oh. my goodness. Good job, Uncle Fez. You go again. Why is Uncle Fez a dildo? I, I know it's Bus Pez. Square. It's a joke on Pez. Again. <sighs> you make me do the hot tomato. Very impressive. You still control the cyber die. 
torture oh, device for the, the modern age. Square. Lose a turn. <laughs> Howard, your turn. You can't stop on an occupied space. Roll again. Good job, humble Howard. You go again. The challenge square. Major Steel, take the controller and secretly select a row from the matrix. Now, Howard, take the trivia. Answer all the Airplane questions correctly trivia. before time runs out. Travel and geography. What European capital is at the highest elevation? I don't know. Luxembourg? It's Madrid. Twisted will be right back. The but creatures of the inner ear are too powerful for flimsy cotton swabs. What you need are teeny tiny chopsticks. When they were made, did that dude have Ferengi ears? The passion could be fatal. Now back to more. To Excuse listen. me, what? Take a spin. You're on the wheel of torture. To get off the wheel. Vinny, that's Germa. Why is everyone Germa? I'm like, <laughs> someone said the host was Germa earlier. Hey, how are the new digs? <laughs> we'll be back. Hello, yoo-hoo! Anybody home? Howard, it's to you. <laughs> Think fast, you're on the challenge square! Major Steel, take the controller and secretly select a row from the Matrix. And I think I'm done with this. Now, Howard, take the controller and... Mystery Matinee. Use the cursor pad and the A button to unscramble the movie before time runs out. Oh god. Uh. Howard, you're still up. You've entered the challenge zone. I feel like I know this. Uncle Fez, this take announcer. The controller and secretly select a row from the matrix. Now, Howard, take the controller and supermarket high rise. Behold the items on the shelves. Two of the items were not in the group. Select the item that was. No, I mean I definitely this announcer's. Oh. I don't know, man. I'm I'm done with this one. I don't I don't fucking I don't know. People are in chat were saying it was ADD the game, and I can't I can't fucking argue with that. It on some level there was something interesting about that. Again, Mario Party before Mario Party, but also kind of like a talk show and you know FMV weird characters. But those mini games were terrible, and it was just it it was just like scrambling my fucking brain. But this one's called, um, Virtuoso. It's the last one. Oh, no. How many times have I started a game tonight and said, oh, no? I think I've played this one. Why do I know this one? Maybe I've seen someone else play this. Then you played it. Also, a lot of games got um, basically the, the face huggers from Alien in them. You notice that? It's a lot of almost face huggers. This music does not exactly fit. Then you played this in DOS Trash. It was from like a DOS Trash thing? Oh, okay, fair enough. It's probably even worse. 
I don't know which form it would be worse in, this or that. I can't tell. This dude's so cool. He's got a leather jacket. The DOS version has way cooler music. Someone said this is like DMC for dads. <laughs> Kind of fucking really boring. I mean, at this time, we just didn't have this shit figured out yet. That's why I like these games so much and checking out like old 3DO games, just the relics are so. It's just fascinating to see like proto 3D games and what people thought might be cool without, you know, knowing what would sell. It's fucking... It's more fake Alice in Chains than Nirvana. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wait... Is there gonna be singing? I need to hear singing. Oh, yeah. Dip me in the water. I belong without her. Wow. I feel dirty. <laughs> okay, I've had enough. I, I mean, I don't know what to say, really. A, a lot of those games just prove to me that, you know, I'm glad we live now. <laughs> in In some ways. You know, uh, there's a lot of good games now. And, uh, we, we, Burt Cocaine, someone said. You know, I don't know. Those were some bad games. Those are some really fucking bad games. The 3DO has not made a good impression on me. I know there's good games for this system, and one day we may even see them. But, god damn, those were some bad games. Someone said, I like Alice in Chains. I actually love Alice in Chains, so don't feel bad. I, I like making fun of them a little bit because Lane Staley's singing voice makes me laugh, but I love that band. So, uh, but yeah, that is the 3DO collection. Fascinating and unbelievable and just awful. <laughs> 